is Treffios here and in this video I will make a tutorial on how to make um, a thumbnail. This is only for desktop, this is not for mobile, I am sorry, but I will make a tutorial for mobile. Uh, I am using my voice because thumbnails are a little confusing and it's not an exact step-by-step -step guide and a lot of people found it a lot easier when I do use my voice. Um, so let's get right into the video and yeah. First we're going to start by just googling thumbnail template YT or YouTube and just click on any of these and make sure they are the right size which is 1280 times 720 and just download them. Now we want a little background, so I'm just gonna Google aesthetic background. Themed. Oh wait, why did I say Pendry? That is no. Um, anyways, just ignore that. <laughs> aesthetic background. Um, I'm gonna find a really cute one. This this is really really cute. Um, credit to this girl here for making it. And I'm just gonna name it background. Now we're just gonna maybe search up Roblox PNG. Roblox avatar PNG. Let's just see if someone has a avatar for a uh, one like this on the web. So I'm just gonna drag this to my desktop. Okay, so we are back on Pixlr. We are going to open up the original template that we downloaded. So this one right here, and just click open, and it will open. So we need to put our background on it that we installed to. So let's just go layer down to add image as a layer and click this one. And this is our background and it is so cute. Okay, I also like to blur my backgrounds just so it focuses a lot more on the text than the background. So just go filter details and go Gaussian blur. And put it up to maybe 70 is a good one. So it looks like that. Now I'm going to add my light burst. Again, the link for the light burst will be in the description of the how to make a static banner video. It's in the description there. So if you want it, just head over to that video and download it from there. So again, we're going layer, um, add image as a layer. And so I'm going to be placing my light ray. And here it is. I'm just going to zoom out. So by clicking Command and the minus button, we stretch this out, stretch it out, and I'm just going to make sure it's center, like so. So I'm just going to hit up and go edit, and I'm going to go fill, and I'm going to make it, um, maybe I'll make it white. Um, then head over, to, head over to these three dots over here and just put the um, blend mode on overlay, and then just put it down. A bit to like that. We're just going to add the avatar that we downloaded from the web before. So go layer, add image as layer. I personally did because it's really good, it's super cute. I'm going to zoom back in. Um, and over here, there is a magic wand tool, and you just want to select the background of it and just click delete. And then select the lasso and just click into a random space. So now it is transparent. A little bit bigger, I'm just going to put it to the side. A filter, and I'm going to make it outline. So I want a white outline, but I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and go like that. Also, love to add a drop shadow. So go back to filter and click drop shadow. Um, I'm going to make offset just a little bit more and put the blur down to like there. And I'm going to put the blur all the way off because I think it looks tacky. Okay. So there it is. We're going to be adding the text. So there is a text button right here. Just click anywhere. Click add. And how to make a thumbnail. That's literally just going to be my sort of thing. So I'm going to go how to. How to. Just like that. I'm going to make the color again kind of pinky. Kind of want to time with the background. How to. I'm going to make it a little bit bigger. Oh god, not that big. <laughs> Go filter, oh no don't do that, go styles, outline, and I'm just going to add a white outline because they always look the best in my opinion. Um, and go shadow, and I'm just going to make it black, and if you scroll down, just put the opacity down, and again, I don't like blur, so I will be taking the blur off. So here is our first text. Um, you can rotate that a bit, 
and we will be adding the next tail. So this is a text thumbnail. Uh, the main text slash word in your title, you really want to make it the highlight of the thumbnail. Um, so mine is obviously thumbnail. So I'm going to make it caps and I'm also going to do a bold font. <laughs> so go up to font where it says font. Select all and click here. And I'm just going to scroll down. And I'm going to select a font that is bold because it will make my thumbnail text look a lot bolder. Um, this is a really good font, by the way. If you are using Pixel, I totally suggest using Bebas New. It is a very good font. It's really nice and I use it in a lot of my thumbnails. Okay, that looks like a bold font. Maybe this. Latin Sun. Okay, I think that's a good one. And I always make the colour just a little bit bolder, so I'm going to make it a bit darker. How to make a thumbnail. So go styles, again, um, click outline. I'm going to make it white, and I'm going to add another shadow. Again, I'm making it black. Scrolling down, turning off the blur, you don't have to, it's just what I do. I'm just going to make it a little bit bigger, and I'm going to put the opacity down. How to make uh, nails. Um, I might do like a little word bubble that says easy tutorial or something like that because people always want something you know easy or simple so just google um, spiky bubble text generator this is what I use and it's this link right here and so I also like to add something that captures the viewers attentions and that draws them into my video so sometimes I like to make one of these little speech bubbles um, the link will be in the description and all you do is write your text and I'll go easy tutorial maybe and I'm gonna go spike left and make sure it is a transparent PNG and then click submit and here it is and just click save it and it will just download so I'm just going to drag it to my desktop I'm going to go back to Pixlr um, I'm going to go layer and I'm going to add that image as a layer so here it is and it is really good because it just adds you know something that captures the audience attention I'm not really sure how to describe it but it's a cute overlay and it draws in the attention and because people like to, most people that are looking for a tutorial are beginners so I'm just gonna type add text layer and I'm gonna go beginner and I'm gonna make this font not too bold so it takes the attention away from the rest of the text but so it's um good so it still has focus so i'm just gonna scroll down um i'm using the font bib is new and i'll be adding a white outline and a drop shadow remember no blur and then i will be done i think i'll probably just reposition um the text and make sure it looks all good and then i will save it to save, just go File, Save, and save it as a PNG. Now your thumbnail is done, and you can go ahead and upload it to your video. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Make sure to subscribe.